guys, let's, let's be on our way. As people living with dementia go, Stop me if you've heard this. Understanding how you got to where you are can be a little cloudy. How are you doing, sweetie? I'm doing good, how are you? We wondered what happened to you. Edgar Evers' pool, the tiles around the door depict scenes from the life of Medgar Evers and from the civil rights era. All right, let's go, quick, it won't last long. Dementia, in its more common form, Alzheimer's, is a degenerative brain disease that robs people of their memories, their ability to reason, and their sense of security. There is no cure, and the outlook is bleak. <laughs> But for these seniors living with dementia, a vigorous walk can clear both the lungs and the mind. You have to keep up with us. <laughs> it's all part of Seattle Parks and Recreation's plan to provide seniors with dementia-friendly programs. I love this group. Nancy Olson and her husband Steve started this walking group as a way of getting out and about. They say it helps being among their people. He enjoys all the activities where he can be himself and not worry about being judged or trying to meet anybody else's standards. Nationally, they say every 68 seconds someone is diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Knowing that as Parks and Recreation is concerned, we're meant to be serving everyone in our community, we felt like it was really crucial to be able to start identifying ways that people with memory loss could continue to stay engaged. All right. In 2014, voters approved a new parks district, which created funding for maintenance and expanded programs for seniors. Okay, can we all get across? With the green light, Parks and Recreation began running with the dementia program. Made it. They've added a dedicated dementia director and teamed up with different organizations who also work with dementia patients to offer a wide variety of activities they couldn't otherwise do. Momentia, momentia. There's a new dementia story taking hold. Momentia, momentia. We always work with community partners, always with the purpose of um, trying to really build opportunities for people to connect, to um, come out of isolation and be around other people. Home, home. stay active, um, to continue kind of exploring and learning new things. This is called People's Wall. It was the second headquarters of the Black Panther Party. Right now, Seattle is the only city in the country with a parks department offering these types of dementia-friendly programs. I just assumed, well, there's got to be a lot of other parks and recreation departments that are doing this. But I think part of my surprise comes from the fact that Seattle itself uh, is very progressive when it comes to thinking about dementia. So I kind of just thought, well, you know, it's everywhere in Seattle, it must be everywhere um, throughout the nation. But, uh, but no, as far as parks and recreation departments are concerned, I am still uh, waiting to see others because I'm hoping to really inspire other parks and recreation departments around the nation. This place is reputed to have the best acoustics of any performance center in Seattle. On this day, Nancy leads the group through Seattle's Central District, with stops to learn a little bit of history. Okay, Motown song. Skip, what's a Motown song? And have a little fun. I'll be there to do, do, and cherish you. Come on. <laughs> Who knows the words of the song? Stop. In the name <laughs> of love. That's the Supremes. I just came down all the Motown songs, and now I can't remember any of them. At every walk, Nancy has some readings she likes to share. I've been scarred and battered, my hopes the wind unscattered. They serve as inspirational reminders to the group that they are still valued members of the community. Looks like between them they done tried to make me stop laughing, stop loving, stop living, but I don't care. I'm still here! <laughs> Still here. And that's a map of Africa. But by no means standing still. They say they will never forget these bonds that they formed. This turns into a friendship. I would not have met them if, if, if I didn't have Alzheimer's. Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel.
Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.